So, it's Wyatt from Dirt Road Garage, and as you can see, we're replacing my lower control arms. Now I've uh, got some, I got a blue ball. It's been going about for a year now. But then my other one's black, so, eh. Anyways, I still have the rear main seal problem. Uh, my transmission still doesn't like to shift from first to second after an hour. But what I noticed was my car wasn't turning right, my alignment was really bad, and uh, we took off my two tires and one was almost bald completely on like half of it from camber wear, even though I don't have camber. And the other one was showing uh, tread on like a sliver of the tire. So I realized it was about time to do something about it. We found out my control arms are bad and uh, I bought these two off of Amazon for about 70 bucks instead of spending 130 for on Rock Auto. Hopefully these fix the problem. If not, I guess I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, it'll at least fix your front end. Um, let me see if I can show you guys the hectic camber wear on these. We did rotate the tires, so maybe he can get a little more life out of them. But bro, look at that camber wear, though. It wasn't even camber. <laughs> no, this one's, I don't know, this one's just starting to show, like, ropes and whatnot. The other one's pretty bad, too. Let me show you that one. So you can kind of, uh, oh no, maybe this is the one that's not as bad, but you can see how the tread kind of, kind of, I mean, it's got camber wear, <laughs> and it's weird, because you look at the front end, and like, I don't, well, maybe a little, it's hard to see any camber, but he's been driving the tires rotated for like, what, about a week now? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, see how bad it actually is? Yeah. I don't think they'll they'll have worn down too bad, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Step one: jack up your car. Oh wait, we gotta bust the nuts first. Oh yeah. Uh, dude, I do that every time. I forget to bust a nut before I uh, jack off. I mean up. Uh, where's the four-way? Speaking of busting a nut, there. <laughs> that's the only way we know how. Just the kidding. Oh uh, yeah. Speaking of four-ways, how'd your uh, your glow rave party go? Oh, uh, that's this Friday. Oh, that's this Friday. Okay, cool. We're gonna have to fill in the people on that after you do some filling in. <laughs> as well as it can go. <laughs> Oh, man, look at that beautiful hot Florida weather. It's like 900 degrees out there. Sweat my tank off already. Why are you working? It's the one with the green splooge on the end. It is, but I think this nut's smaller. <laughs> you have one smaller nut? Is that the new one we put yeah. on? Oh, okay. I've got more of those at work if you need them. Yeah, I do need one for okay. uh, my back. Remember, I'm still only Yeah, doing yeah, that's true. Four freaking. Yeah. Uh, Alright guys, so I got the first uh, control arm out. This one actually decided to cooperate for the most part. Uh, you can see how like sloppy these ball joints are. They're pretty uh, pretty bad and the, the boots like, boots properly like tore up. Um, yeah, there's grease everywhere. But uh, you can see how, uh, how bad the bushings are. Um, yeah, it's uh, kind of like a high mileage hoe. There is, uh, there's the rest of the bushing. Ah, you can see uh, why it's done this girl pretty dirty. Uh, <laughs> uh, these bushings, the rear ones, aren't too bad, but it was just easier to get the whole uh, control arms because, like, this bushing, like, there's no way you're pressing that out. Um, yeah, it's not gonna happen. They're pretty bad. But uh, we did put new tie rod ends on last weekend, so these are all nice and uh, nice and fresh. But uh, yeah, uh, the one on the other side is uh, kind of being a major, major dingus to us. So we're kind of having to uh, let me show the people. We're kind of having gonna have to uh, improvise. That uh, that ball joint just will not move. So. Um, we're kind of cutting it. It's also like the nuts totally stripped. So, uh, 
hopefully we can get that off. There's the new control arm. Uh, we're kind of doing this like the most ratchet way possible on that side. But uh, this side's looking good, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this other control arm all up and into place. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, so we've been going at this for ages now. And by ages, I mean a couple hours and a couple cheeseburgers. But uh, as you can see, we had to break out the Sawzall, which always means that something has gone wrong. Um, the nut for the uh, the ball joint over here was stripped uh, we may have told you this is what's left of it um, at first we were we as in me I, I was really stupid and I cut it like flush with the ball joint on the uh, the underside of the mount uh, and then tried again and cut it just cut the nut where's it at I just had it yeah I cut uh, cut at the nut and um, luckily, I was able to just stick a flathead in there once I cut this far and bang it out. Uh, and then I drenched it with WD-40 and uh, just tapped it right, right here with a hammer. And luckily, that piece just fell out. So finally, we have this control arm out. Now Wyatt's working on that one, and it just doesn't want to line up. So things are going swimmingly. Uh, wouldn't you say, Wyatt? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we have, <laughs> I don't have to drive the Camry. Yeah, uh, we do have a hoopty Camry that Wyatt would be driving if we couldn't have fixed this. So hopefully we can get these uh, get these control arms up and working properly. Oops, sorry, I got the finger in the shot. Uh, hopefully we can get these control arms up and bolted in place. Uh, yeah, hopefully the Chinese parts fit just like the uh, original ones. All right. After Did you get the other tie on? The other what? The, other the ball tire. joint? No, the other tire. Oh the tire yeah. on. I thought you said tire on. I'm like, no, no, no we no. did those last weekend. Yeah. Uh yeah, I got the I mean it's not it's not tightened. I just at finger all? I no, I just finger banged them on there. Uh so after way too long working on this piece, uh we got the control arms in. Uh, they are shiny and new and quite possibly the biggest pain I have ever experienced. Uh, we didn't have the impact gun, which also made this take forever. And for some reason, that one over there didn't want to fit. Uh, no matter what order we like installed it in, it just wouldn't, uh, none of the holes would line up. Uh, so somehow we managed to like push it into place far enough that it actually worked. But it seriously took us like I don't know, hour maybe, hour and a half, just solid trying to get it to fit, like not including all the other crap we had to do. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, just us trying to repair Wyatt's little hoopty, and hopefully this fixes his problem. His wheels were like straight wobbling at 60 miles an hour, like you felt like you were gonna die. It was pretty hectic. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, stuff like that.